Greetings, everyone. This is Miss QT Style of Leading Lady Luxuries Online Boutique, and I just wanted to take you to or through a quick tour of my workstation and where I package my earrings. So here we have um, my area where I make my earrings at, and it's just my old computer desk. I've bought another one since that um, I use to store my beads and everything I need to make my jewelry with. And here I have my, um, you probably can't see it, but it's my little file cabinet where I put, you know, my paperwork every time I buy supplies, you know, for business purposes here. So anyway, here I have my um, tools that I use to um, make jewelry with, bead, beads, bend wire back, all type of stuff like that. Um, I have the acrylic coating that I spray my hoops with to keep the, um, the color on them, keep them from rusting, and some glitter, glue, and some glue that I use. And I just keep it in a little storage I got from the 99 cent store. And here's some beads. These beads I got from Michaels. Um, up here I just have some containers of beads. I'm going to open them a little bit so you, can, you guys can see them. Um, here I store some beads here. Just various different different types. And then here, sorry for all the noise, but I'm videotaping as I'm talking, of course. And here's some more beads. And then in this one, I keep like, I want to start making um, smaller earrings, you know, on these little pins where I put these type of um, hoops and stuff. I mean, the, see, I'm so much in hoops, hooks on it. So that's what I have here, and I have some spikes and stuff. And then I have the little lobster clasps that I'm going to start making um, bracelets with. So, yeah, I keep my that there. And here I have some more beads. The Chinese ball that I use to make my basketball wide beads. I have a lot of colors here. And I have the Ron, packs of rondelles. This is some Christmas beads I've recently purchased. Some Christmas ones again. And here are the big um, spacers. Um, so yeah, here I have some earrings that I've been working on. But you know how you, you might make one and then um, you don't finish? That's what I have here. Um, here I have some like beads. I'm sorry, chains. Various chains that I use to make bracelets, necklaces, earrings. I have the stringing elastic cord. I haven't used that yet, but I plan on using it for um, bracelets. And then I have this uh, wire that I'm practicing on making um, hoops, but it's going to be oval hoops where I, I put those hooks on. And then here I have my beautiful little princess. When she was a little princess, now she's a 21-year-old princess. And it just goes with my theme. I'm going to move that. Here, as you see, it says hoops. And this is where I keep my already um, sprayed hoops that I spray with the acrylic. Just keep them in there. So yeah, that's basically my work area. And down here I have, um, you probably can't see, this is a suitcase with a little more um, beads in it. Okay, so I'm going to move the light. This is my light that it, it can shine on my work area table, but then I can scoot it this way when I am packaging. Now I'm going to step back. This is a wine and glass um, rack. Actually, the glasses go here. I should have had one. The glasses go um, here. And it's an old wine rack. Well, not an old one, but <laughs> we, that's what we used it as, but we made as the workstation. So I'm going to start with the top shelf. Up here, I have my um, bubble wrap, my pink uh, bubble wrap to wrap my um, jewelry in securely. And over here, I have another one. And then some more here. And this is an accordion file that I purchased um, from Walmart. I needed just a portable one. I have the one that I just showed you under the desk. But to take paperwork and customers, um, you know, receipts if I need it with me for mailing, I um, store in there. And then I have a few bags from the post office to um, ship in when I want to. I haven't shipped in these yet. I ship in here. Um, these bubble wrap envelopes. Bubble wrap envelopes and also bubble wrap jewelry so it's double protected that's why I like to use these bubble wraps but in case I run out of these I can use these okay and then I have some of these cardboard ones from the post office that are free here so I just I got those today just in case so let me take this down 
And here I have my um, confirmation. All um, jury I ship, I track them to make sure the customers get them. And then once I um, mail it off, I'll let them know the tracking number and so they can keep track of their um, orders. So here I have my, um, like, velour tie bags that I can put one, one earring in if it's small enough. Um, so some earrings will be shipped with these bags. And just another pink bag. I'm saying with my pink theme. It's like little sandwich bags, but it's cute to put the jewelry in. In this box, I keep more beads. See, I have my pink um, beads here for breast cancer. I have um, my alphabet beads that I use to make my name beads. And here's some other miscellaneous um, stuff that I use for um, craft. Okay. Now, I got these bags, and I just sent the um, a order off in these bags. Um, Miss QT, so everybody knows I like leopard in here in zebra. But also, QT stands for Queen Trinidra, and I'm all with the queen and princess type theme. So I thought these bags would be very cute. As you see, it has a crown on it, and it has jewelry, rings, necklaces on it. But also the star, Miss QT style, the leading lady. A leading lady is a star, so the ones represent that. So a lot of um, jewelry of my pieces will be packaged in these bags once bubble wrapped and then put inside of the bubble wrap bags. So... Up here, like I said, this was an old um, wine and glass rack. So this is where you hang the glasses at upside down by the, you know, like the, the flute glasses at the bottom. You hang them upside down. But I added this little um, pink feather bow over there just to add a little pink, more pink to it. Now, these boxes I purchased today. And I'm going to see if you, like, buy three items how they package in here. So I'm going to do one shipment. And if it works, then I'm going to get some more. Of course, I got the pink. And like I said, here's my leopard and the leopard um, and zebra ribbon that I tie the boxes, these boxes with when you buy one piece if I ship it like that. Here's my bag of white feathers, which is my trademark kind of, sort of. My old um, company, Buku Prale's logo was a white feather or any color feather, actually, with um, like on a lady's old fanfare band around the um, head and then the feathers so that's why I stuck with this theme and all my packages well most of them will have um, feathers when they're packed in this box okay and that's on a second shelf so right here is where I keep uh, the orders once the order is placed I pull the earrings that was ordered and I hang them here and these are just here for example so I just want to show you how handy this area is and how this um, wine rack comes in handy. And see, this is where the wine usually go. And I have another um, roll of uh, bubble wrap stuck in there. Okay? So let me move this junk out of the way. Right here is where I lay. And let me turn this over because this is the customer's order. You know, if I'm packaging something, I would lay it here. Something like this with the bubble wrap and go from there okay wrap you know fill the order he right here that's where i do the packaging here's my business cards all packages go with at least one or two business cards in there um right here is another pink bubble wrap and then here i have my tape and just everything that i need scissors pins highlighters markers and what have you um and notice queen crowns right here on the um, material that I have on the desk. This is a, another desk. This is a wood oak desk. This is my mother's. That one was my desk. And I have that covered with the pink and the crowns. Okay, moving right along. Over here I have just miscellaneous paper. Um, anybody who ordered this month will get the breast cancer stickers on their packages. So I have that here. And then I'm ready for the holidays. Anybody that orders in November, December will have this on their packages. And this is my address return labels here. And like I said, just miscellaneous um, paperwork. My stapler. And here I have some earrings stored in here. Because I'm actually running out of space. They are all over. So I'm going to back up and show you guys. How it looks. Well, I've ramshacked it a little bit by showing you guys. But yeah, that's my little work area and where I package. 
and this is where I make the earrings at okay so now I'm gonna go over here I know you guys seen this before but I'm gonna show you again I have on this table my high-end well this is not high-end this is middle-end um, pieces in my glass black case and I plan on purchasing some more and they open like this and they lock you know if I wanted to open it to get them out and here I keep some of my high-end pieces until I transfer them to this one and this is a um, my high-end case and this opens the same way and it also locks okay and I think I'm gonna go and get two more and that'll be enough so yeah just wanted to show you guys where I package how I make the jewelry and where I display them at I hope you enjoyed this video please check me out on my website leading lady luxuries and it's www.missqtstyle.com thank you for watching